So if you're not familiar with our pros, uh, our philosophy may be a little bit different than our competition's philosophy. Uh, the main thing that we have with the pro over our off-road package is really adding the high-speed element to the truck. So what we don't want to do is take anything away from the truck's capability as we add that high-speed element in. So uh, towing on this truck is down a little bit. It goes from 6,700 to 6,400 pounds, but payload doesn't change. It's still at 1,420 it's the same as the off-road package and the main reason for that is 45% uh, of our customers go off-road the pro customers tend to go off-road even a little bit more but they they basically tow a lot of different things they've got dirt bikes they got sleds they have these things and they want to use their truck as a truck plus a day as a daily driver so uh, I'll start with some of the suspension differences on here we have changed the, the vehicle a little bit uh, we've extended the track an inch front and rear uh, we've uh, increased wheel travel one inch and uh, if you look at approach angles we go from 32.5 that we have on the off-road package to 36 degrees on this and break over we go to 26 degrees so again it's uh, just giving a little bit more capability out of that uh, truck than you had before uh, cosmetically to help with the 36 we have a quarter inch skid plate aluminum skid plate under there and we changed the skid plate a little bit so one of the things we heard in the past when we put our quarter inch skid plate on the other trucks is that changing the oil and oil filter was not the most pleasant job. So we have a trap door in there now, a panel you can take off to add in that. So that's just listening to the voice of the customer a little bit. Uh, spring rates have been changed on the truck. Uh, the springs have been changed. In the front we have coil overs. In the rear uh, we've got our leaf spring set up. Uh, the big difference between this truck and our off-road package is we've changed our shocks. Uh, we've gone from our Bilsteins, our inch and a half Bilsteins that we use on the off-road, to a uh, two and a half inch Fox shock on there. And the Fox shock is Fox latest technology. And we went to Fox, not that we have a problem with Bilstein, we love Bilstein, but Fox was able to match the capabilities with their new technology that we weren't able to get uh, anywhere else. So this is Fox's latest shock. It's a, a position a sensitive dampening shock. And uh, what that means is uh, you have a nice soft, uh, basically ride. This is softer than we have on our ORP. So you get on the road, it's good. When you're going up through here, you're gonna feel it. The dampening is a lot less, but as you get into that shock, uh, the dampening increases. So that's given, helping us with that, that high, high speed element in there. We have five compression zones and three rebound zones in the front. We have seven compression zones and four rebound zones in the rear. Uh, in the rear of the shock has a piggyback reservoir, this coil over in the front here. Some of the other things, uh, naturally you can understand that we went from an inch and a half to two and a half inch shock. Uh, we changed the piston. The piston is a floating piston in there. And uh, in that piston, we went from a 38 diameter to a 47 diameter. So making the shock obviously larger allowed us to have that in, uh, larger pistons in the, those shocks. Is, we've changed the base valve in that that to help with cavitation um, to make sure that we don't cavitate the oil leading to shock fade and we also want aluminum body on that shock to help dissipate heat so uh, our Bilstein has a steel body this has aluminum body and again it's getting heat out of the shock to eliminate that shock fade uh, I talked about a, a inch more travel uh, underneath the truck and you can get a shock uh, a shot of that as well we've changed our TRD uh, cat back exhaust on there so uh, when you start it up, you're going to notice that the sound's a little bit different, gives a little, us a little better flow. Up front, uh, just from a cosmetic area, we went back to the traditional on all our pros. We go to back for a historical uh, grill. We've got the Toyota front grill on there, hood scoop, blacked out headlights. And one of my favorite is we teamed up with Rigid Industries. If you're not familiar with Rigid, they're number one in off-road lighting. I love Rigid lighting. The guys uh, at Rigid are optics experts. And one of the requests I had to Rigid is I, I can't offer off-road off lighting. Um, our government frowns on that because I can't control what the customer does with it. But we wanted to light out, and unfortunately can't see it today, but we wanted to light up uh, for, for night a lot more than we, we currently have capability with. So this has split optics in it. The lower part of the optics meets uh, the government requirements, that's SAE J583, that's a standard. There's a test afterwards, so you want to write that one down. But uh, that is for uh, on-road lighting. That's your fog lamp that's out there. The upper portion shines down. And what that allowed us to do is light up more of an area. So uh, our normal fog lamp uh, lights up about 8 meters by 12 meters. 
uh, in front of the vehicle. This lamp will light up, uh, I have to think now, 15 meters by 20 meters. So you can imagine each one of these lights, and they're just little itty bitty LED lights, but you can imagine how much light you're getting out there and what it's putting out in front of you. So it's uh, teaming up with Rigid was great. Um, and this is optics that's uh, beyond what we have in, in our standard fog light or even our, our aftermarket fog light we put in there. The LEDs allow us to do it. Um, again, uh, we're running the Goodyear Wrangler tires on here with Kevlar walls. We have new wheels on it, uh, badging, it's cosmetic. And uh, as I said, you can get a shot in the back of the shocks and the springs have been changed. As well as that in the interior, uh, there's some cosmetic changes in the interior. One of the things we did put in, in this truck is leather seating. Uh, that again came from a customer complaint. Uh, if you're off-roading, especially in mud, if you live in Michigan, you can understand the mud factor. We had customers complaining about the fabric is hard to clean. So the leather was put in there to make the, make the truck a little easier to wipe up after you're done mudding. And uh, different floor mats, shifter, and uh, today you'll get to, to go about looking at that. We uh, offer the same features in our, in our off-road package, so you still have crawl control, you still have multi-train select in here. Uh, we're running our V6 engine that we introduced last year. This truck, this red truck, is, only, is a manual transmission, so it's red, so you can identify it if you want to drive the manual. The manual has a new six-speed gearbox in it as well. That was introduced last year. If you are a manual driver and you haven't driven our six-speed, please drive it because uh, it, it's phenomenal. I, I'm a manual transmission guy. Uh, it doesn't feel like a stick in a bucket of gravel. It's got a short throw on it. It's positive. You will know what gear you're in when you're going down through there. So again, the main focus of our truck is, is putting that off-road uh, high-speed capability into it that we don't offer uh, on our off-road package. So. Really, the suspension is uh, tuned for that. And when you get on the race track, you'll, you'll get a chance to feel that a little bit more. And like I said, it, it's uh, on road, you're going to, I forgot about the stabilizer bar, but on road, what you're gonna feel is we I have a softer suspension. And softer suspension and a higher center of gravity uh, typically leads a little bit more body roll. You will experience a little bit more body roll. Um, and more body roll leads to more understeer. To help with that, we've increased the uh, front stabilizer bar from 28 to 30 on the truck as well. So uh, preventing that understeer phenomena that, that normally occurs when you go to an off-road package. So main focus, again, I can't emphasize enough, our philosophy is not giving up anything uh, for the, the drivability or the capability of the vehicle. So again, making sure understeer doesn't increase, making sure that uh, what you feel out there uh, you're not sacrificing ride, so you're not going to feel a lot of pitching, maybe that you felt in the, the past Tacoma Pro, uh, we've worked on the pitching, and working with Fox, working with our, our TRD Springs, uh, really helped us get over some of those issues that maybe you've experienced in the other truck.